It's October 1962, and the United States has just learned that the Soviet Union has been placing nuclear missiles in Cuba, just 90 miles off the coast of Florida. President John F. Kennedy and his advisors are locked in debate over how to respond without escalating the conflict. The world holds its breath, as the United States and the Soviet Union teeter on the edge of nuclear war. Now, if you heard that story and said, sounds like a job for an octopus scientist, you are, somehow, not alone. Gregory Bateson was an interdisciplinary researcher whose curiosity had led him from linguistics to anthropology to social behavior in general, and by 1962 he was studying the social behavior of captive octopuses. Octopuses are not social animals the way that we are, and they can be very hostile to one another when forced into close proximity. But when Bateson did exactly that with his captive specimens of two-spot octopus, he found that even these antisocial creatures were capable of negotiation. If they weren't able to make peace with one another, it went very badly for the octopuses, right? Like, both of them would be seriously injured and one of them would die. But sometimes, after an initial confrontation between the unwilling tankmates, the loser of the initial confrontation would approach its tankmate again, giving it the opportunity to show mercy. And this worked for the octopuses. After this, they would settle into a peaceful coexistence and sometimes even sit, resting side by side, leaning on one another's bodies. So, in the final days of the Cuban Missile Crisis, Bateson wrote a letter to a colleague who had connections to the President's Science Advisory Committee. In it, he emphasized what he had learned from the octopuses, the importance of finding the courage to trust someone who can kill you. Did this letter alone alter the course of history? Almost certainly not. But Bateson's two-spot octopus test subjects have the distinction of being the only octopuses in history who may have played a small part in saving the world.